Hello everybody, this is Vinayak and welcome back to Vox for Lifetime, your go-to source for Linux tutorials and server management tips brought to you by Voxfor.com, your trusted provider for lifetime VPS, dedicated servers, managed WordPress hosting, monthly VPS plans, and lifetime web hosting based on cPanel. In today's video, we will learn how to install Docker on CentOS Stream 9. Docker is a popular containerization tool that makes it easy to deploy applications in isolated environments. By using Docker on CentOS Stream 9, you can improve software development, simplify deployments, and manage applications efficiently. Before installing Docker, we will make sure that our operating system is a 64-bit CentOS machine of Linux to be specific, CentOS Stream 9. Secondly, we will make sure that we are a root user. Now, we will go ahead and update repositories on our Linux machine by typing sudo dnf update space hyphen y. dnf is a package manager which is used in place of yum with CentOS or Red Hat based machines. Press enter. This will update the repositories. After the repositories have been updated, we will go ahead and install utilities such as dnf plugin core. To do this, copy the command sudo dnf install hyphen y dnf plugin score. Copy it, go to the terminal, paste it, and press enter. This command will install some plugins. Since they are already present in our Linux, we will go ahead and move to the next step. For installing Docker on CentOS stream, we have various methods such as the official docker repository. To do this, go ahead and copy the command present in our blog, head over to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will add the repository of docker in our Linux machine. Next, we will go ahead and install docker by typing sudo dnf install docker-ce for it. Copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will install docker ce for us. It may take a while. Once this is done, we will go ahead and check if docker is installed correctly by typing the command docker-version. Also, make a note that docker ce and docker ce cli are two different components. Docker ce is the main docker whereas the CLI refers to command line interface. Since Docker is now installed on our Linux machine, I will check the version by typing docker space hyphen version. Docker version 28 is present on our Linux system. Now we will go ahead and start Docker by typing sudo system3tl start docker. Copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will start Docker software in our Linux. To make sure Docker starts automatically after every reboot or shutdown, you will enable Docker. Copy the command sudo systemctl enable docker, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will enable Docker and create a symbolic link so that whenever our system is restarted or reboot the Docker, will come online automatically. Next, we can look at another way in which we can install Docker using CentOS Streams Extra Repository. To do this, use the command sudo dnf config manager and enable it. Copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will enable code repository on our CentOS machine. Next, we will go ahead and install Docker by using sudo dnf install hyphen y docker. Copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. You will notice that we did not import any repository over here because we are using code repository which we previously enabled. It already has docker from the CentOS extra packages repository. Again, it is asking us to start docker. Since we have started docker previously, we are not going to do that again and enabling as well. Next, if you want to verify installation of docker and run a test container, use the command sudo docker run space your container name. Hello world is a common and pre-built docker container which comes installed in our installation. I will copy this command, go to terminal, 
paste it and press enter it will now pull image hello world from docker this means docker will pull the images from the servers and then download it and run the same configurations or commands in our linux and create a isolated environment for a specific application in this example the docker image was for hello world hello from docker is a generic message which is used to test if docker containers are working properly or not moving further you should always add docker to your user group which is known as root user this is important because docker is used to run containerized applications and if you need to deploy some docker application not using the root privileges this addition of docker to the root user group will help it out copy the command sudo user mod space hyphen a capital g docker space dollar user instead of user you should be using root I'll paste it and press enter. Docker is added to our root user group. Next, we will go ahead and enable Docker to start on boots. To do this, copy the command sudo systemctl enable docker. Go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will enable Docker once again since it is now added in the root user group as well. Moving further, we can see that the last time we run hello world docker, it was using the sudo command. Now we will run the same command but without using sudo privileges. To do this, go ahead and copy the command docker run hello world. I will copy it. Go to the terminal, paste it and press enter. Hello world docker container is again running. It means that our docker setup is successful. In docker, we have to configure our storage location as well for managing the data which we collect via several containers. To do this, we will view the default storage location by typing slash var slash lib slash docker. This is the location in which the docker files are stored. We will navigate over here by copying it and before pasting it, we will type cd space the location and press enter. This location contains the storage files for docker. I will press ls and enter. You can see that the volume section is present over here along with the containers, image and run times. These all will help us in identifying the places a docker image files are stored. If you want to modify the docker storage path, go ahead and change docker storage path in daemon.json file. To do this, I will go ahead and type nano space our file that is present in etc i will copy it go to the terminal paste it and press enter in this file we will add the following json configuration i will copy it go to the terminal paste it instead of slash new slash docker slash path we have to replace our own path i will type forward slash home forward slash docker forward slash files and exit it by pressing ctrl x y and enter now since we have already changed the storage path you might want to restart docker by using the command sudo systemctl restart docker copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter this command will restart docker services on our linux server moving further we will look at how to configure docker daemon on CentOS Stream 9. Docker daemon is used to configure docker containers if there are any changes made to them and they can be restarted without a manual intervention. To do this, we will go ahead and open the configuration file present in slash etc slash docker. I will copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. In our daemon configuration file, we will add the insecure registries by copying the JSON format present in our block. Going to terminal, paste it, exit by pressing Ctrl X, Y and enter. Instead of your registry domain, we will type the domain which we already have assigned to us or our VPS. Next, we will set up the logging as well because if we don't set logging option, it will leave us open to threat vulnerability because we will not be able to know who access the data. To do this, go ahead and once again open our 
docker configuration file scroll to bottom copy the json format present in our blog go to terminal paste it exit by pressing ctrl x y and enter this will save the docker logging options as well go ahead and restart the docker daemon by typing sudo systemctl restart docker copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter this command will restart docker. Moving further, let's look at how to manage docker containers and images on CentOS Stream 9. If you want to run Nginx or web server or any another application software on your Linux in a containerized environment, you would need to pull their docker images first and then generate a docker container for them. To do this, I am using Nginx which is a web server well known for its efficiency and its better performance than apache to pull a docker image go ahead and type sudo docker pull nginx i will copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter this command will pull the docker file for nginx web server once it is done it will start extracting and verifying it since the digest or sha256 digest has been verified we will go ahead and run a docker container for nginx by typing sudo docker run space hyphen d hyphen d is a parameter to run in detach mode space name the name for our docker container space port and the name of our service i will copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter this command will now initiate the docker container named my underscore nginx for nginx web server to list the containers present in our linux machine we will use the command sudo docker ps copy it to terminal paste it and press enter nginx is working right now and all the ip connections are being forwarded to port 80 over the tcp protocol and this container was created 24 seconds ago. To list the containers and images present in our Linux machine for Docker, we will type sudo docker images. Go ahead and copy it. Go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will show us the images present on our Linux or CentOS based server to be specific regarding Docker. If we want to stop and remove a container which is running for example our nginx web server use the command sudo docker stop space name of our container i will copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter now if i again do sudo docker ps and press enter there is no running docker container to remove the docker container completely we will use sudo docker rm space name of our docker copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter this command has removed the docker containered my hyphen nginx moving further if we want to update docker or uninstall it we will go ahead and type sudo dnf check update i will copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter this command will check for any updates for our linux machine or send to a server over here. If there is no update, we will proceed to the next step. We will finally update sudo docker by typing sudo dnf update docker ce docker ce cli and container.io. I will copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will check for the docker container updates. Since there are no updates present, we will go ahead and uninstall docker. To uninstall docker, we will use the command sudo dnf remove docker ce copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter press y to confirm that we are uninstalling docker press enter docker is now being uninstalled from center stream 9 server this may take some time we may want to wait for a completion once it is done we will go ahead and remove extra repositories or docker files present in our system since docker is now removed we will go ahead and remove the files present in var slash lib slash docker to remove them use sudo rm space hyphen rf which is a recursive function and force deletion of files i will copy it go to terminal paste it and press enter this will remove all the files present 
in the docker folder which are present in the var slash lib directory. If you encounter issues such as docker daemon fails to start, you can go ahead and use the command sudo journal ctl space hyphen u space docker. This command will tell you the status updates for docker. Also, if you are unable to connect to the docker daemon, you should go ahead and start your docker repositories by typing sudo systemctl start docker. Next, you should be enabling your docker if it is not enabled to make sure the docker is up and running. The next issue which you can face is regarding the firewall blocks present on the docker ports. To manage this, you have to learn firewalls and use the command sudo firewall-cmd and create a public zone and add masquerade as permanent. Then you have to reload your firewall using the command sudo firewall-cmd space hyphen reload. Next, you should also check if there are any network connectivity issues. If there are, just fix them first and then restart docker by typing sudo systemctl restart docker. Moving further, let's answer some frequently asked questions which can be seen by people. First question is, can I install docker on another CentOS versions? So the answer is yes. Docker can be installed on CentOS 8, CentOS 7 and newer versions of CentOS Stream. Second question which is asked most is how do you set up a private Docker registry? So you can run the registry Docker image to set up a private registry and configure Docker's daemon to recognize it. This is required and very important for the private Docker registry. Next and last, the question which we will be answering is what is the difference between Docker CE and Docker EE? So the basic difference between Docker CE and Docker EE is that Docker CE is free and open source while Docker EE is called Enterprise Edition. That's it for today's guide on installing Docker in CentOS Stream 9. We covered updating your system, installing dependencies, setting up the repository and testing Docker. If you found this video helpful, like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with others managing Linux servers and containerized applications. For more tutorials, check out our blog linked in the description. And remember, whether you need lifetime VPS, dedicated servers, managed WordPress hosting, monthly VPS plans, or lifetime web hosting based on cPanel, Voxo has you covered. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.